So this is another um, move that I hit in the tournament that I did recently. Uh, I called it the reverse Barimbola. Somebody suggested that I call it the spiral sweep. So I'm going to go with that, and it's pretty much just going to be the spiral sweep uh, for me. I know there's other names for it. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to get into a reverse De La Hiva position. So if you come around over here a little bit, my right leg is laced through. Then from there, my right hand is going to go inside. I made a drill video doing this on a heavy bag. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll post a link somewhere so you can watch it. And it's basically so you can practice this movement and get better um, doing these types of situations. So my right hand is going to go through. Now, there's a couple things that can happen, especially when you're drilling. Sometimes the person just kind of stays and you get their back, and sometimes they fall on their butt. What happened in the tournament that I did is as I was spinning through, the person ended up falling on their butt, whether they sat down to defend or they just fell. I'm not exactly sure, but that's exactly what happened. So I got the reverse de la Hiva. My foot is inside. Come back over here so you can see the foot. My foot is hooking through, okay? My right hand laces in front of the ankle and then from there I come underneath and then he sat so once he sat I already had the sweep I'm keeping this grip as I'm going underneath I was actually pulling the leg out and I'll show it when I do it again then from there I come up now if my timing is good I have a good leg drag right here where I can crush the person and then get the pass. Now obviously when you're rolling in a live situation, some things aren't perfectly, so sometimes they can get their guard back, but you still got the sweep. So if I do it again, I'm here, I have the reverse De La Hiva. My right hook is inside, and my foot is hooking up. From there, I'm coming underneath, just like this. Sometimes I'll grab my own ankle just so I can get a little bit more secure position. Then when I come under, I pull his ankle. My left arm is shooting through. And then I get the sweep from here. From here I drop my leg down and then I can come up. And then in a perfect world, if I have good position, I'll get the pass. And the last situation that happens is sometimes you go through and the person comes forward and they put their hands down on the mat. So instead of sitting down, I come underneath and he comes forward. So basically he's like this. I'm gonna grab his ankle on this side here and I'm gonna drive. I'm going to drive down so that way he drops. Now, here's reality. Reality is most people are going to turn on you. And they're, you're going to, I can fight for his back, but when I go to fight for his back, most people are going to turn on you. Turn. And you're going to end up in their guard anyway. If the person doesn't turn on you, then you can attack their back. But I'm not going to show it as a back take because when you do it live, a lot of people are probably going to turn on you anyway, and you're going to get into their guard. Um, so... That's a spiral sweep, reverse barimbola, whatever you call it, want to call it. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do right now. I, you know, I, I like all these spinning movements right now. And uh, the good thing is they're high percentage and they're fun to do as well. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, I'll connect the, the tournament video as well. It'll probably be before or after this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right? Thanks again. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. And uh, keep watching. So, as I'm turning, when I come underneath, as I'm turning, my hand rotates as well. So I come underneath, I'm shooting my shoulder under, my hand rotates and I pull with my hand. Look at my left arm, it's shooting through and I just keep rotating onto my hip and I'm pulling his leg down. Then from there, I come straight up. Okay, so if I do it again, Temporary. 
Tim's in the combat phase here. My right foot is up. It's sticking up. My right hand goes through. I kick my leg out. I go upside down. My left arm shoots through. A lot of times it doesn't even need to go underneath. It shoots through, and then I grab his heel, and I pull it, and I keep turning onto my hip, and he falls. Chop the leg down, and then you come up. 